Okay guys, we're back. Hopefully I won't get so exasperated with the game this time. Yeah, I think, um, um, I think there were still elements of this new area that you know, I quite liked, but then it also has just... It's really just that it has so much action. Yeah. All so, at once. I was thinking about this, and right now I think there are kind of two problems I have with the action in this game. The first is that um, the game does okay in the enemy types it has, uh, in that there are a reasonable amount of different enemies. Sure. Uh, you know, like, um, oh, hold on one second. Um, yeah, so I feel like the game does okay actually in the number of enemy types it has. Uh, but the big problem I have is that it's very hard to distinguish these enemies from each other. There, little sister. It looks like it's just the guy. My frame rate still is cutting in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's huh? being a bit garbage right now. Oh, these stupid things. Oh, wait. No, he does have a little sister, I guess. Is it someone else? I can't. This is the problem. Oh, there is oh okay. Uh, I guess I could try killing them. How's your. I have, uh. You wanna see how the liquid nitrogen does, I guess? Sure. It's probably better than napalm, right? Uh. Napalm's not actually hot, right? It just, like, is chemical? I don't really know, honestly. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it freezes him. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Oh, you're Shatter enemies. Your turret behind you is that you have just killed it. Well, that. Oh. Okay. I'm a little confused. Do you think I? damage to it? Uh, I'm not doing damage to it while it's frozen, huh? I guess not. Uh, maybe set him on fire? That might be terrible. That seems helpful. Right, nothing. Nice! Okay. Well, we learned some things about status effects. Yeah. It was helpful. Basically that there are status effects besides like lightning stun. Yeah. Thank you, mister. Thank you, Thank weird you. child. I think it's not worth it to heal at this point. Um, yeah, so my whole point is that uh, I feel like that it's very hard to tell which enemies there are, basically. And because of that, I can't fight them differently. Mm. You know? Yeah, these frame rate cuts. Mm. Uh. Right. Okay. Oh, that's right. You didn't have any health. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like, in there... Because they're basically all humanoid and they all basically look the same, uh, I can't tell which enemies are which. I just shoot them all and they all die, you know? Well, also because they throw so many at you at once, you can't, like, plan and adjust strategy like we were at the start of the game. I guess I could try his knees. He's got a melee weapon, so I guess... Are they fighting each other? Can't tell. Where's the camera? Like, they're still trying to do... cinematic things, but there's just, like, so many guys that you can't really pay attention to what they're saying anymore. Yeah. That's, That's a big problem, problem with me. 
But like I did, I really liked the like how they introduced this area with the like magician guys. Like I thought that was pretty fun. Yeah. And it, like I was like, oh, they're gonna start doing spooky stuff again, and they did for a little bit. Uh, but then we came to the marketplace, and all this stuff happened. Hack. Nope, failed. Hack. Hack. I was going to say my other big problem with it is that. Uh, this is a problem I have in a lot of games, is that um, they end up just throwing a lot at you at once, rather than... And they use that to increase the difficulty, rather than increasing the difficulty in other ways. So, like, for example, this game makes it more difficult because I have to deal with the bots and the cameras along with um, all the normal enemies and the big daddy and like it's all there all at once sure and like what they could do instead is make those individual elements more interesting or more difficult in themselves without Putting you against them all at the same time. And I feel like that's the kind of thing I prefer to me. Hmm. Okay. I think there are probably ways to do both okay, but. Super hard. Let's just use an auto. Oh, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go with the quest, huh? Still All right, we were collecting a bunch of junk, that's right. Uh... In ten years in this dump, I've come to accept a very low standard of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The pathetic Trudeke down at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. It could be worse. I could pick it right from the ocean. Okay. Yep. Please. I look at jeans all day long. Why does it keep auto playing these other ones? Oh, we got a gift. Well, let me try this. This are dull. Yeah. All right. That's how I search beehives. I just open them up right up. All right. Um. Smoker control. Should probably use that. Okay. One would think. What's he looking for? Uh, just a bunch of garbage. Oh, Sonic Boom! Oh, I didn't do a lot. Oh. Sonic Boom! Oh, he's a tanky beekeeper, huh? <laughs> That's fine. He had like a real delayed reaction on how he died. Okay. So. Hey, hey. That's a cute set to wait. Okay. Uh, are we searching beehives, I guess? Yeah, we need inside samples. Are these idiots gonna keep spawning? That's not helpful. Keep these, huh? Alright, right, guys, have fun with the bees. Boop. This is not a good puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was halfway hoping for like a cool bee keeper boss or something. But if it just infinitely spawns guys to annoy you while you're trying to search for enzymes, it's not my favorite. Yeah. 
Once more. Let's hope no more guys spawn. Oop, some guys spawned. Maybe some of these bodies will have times. Oh, there's. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is easily one of the worst areas of the game so far. Just this one, just this one thing in this area. I mean. <laughs> We're moving on, boy. Okay. Um. So we got some enzymes. What else are we supposed to get? Water. Chlorophyll. Uh, Arcadia Farmers Market. That's where it was. Can we put uh, subtitles on for the record recordings? Yeah. Should probably try that because half the time I cannot hear what's going on because of all the other stuff happening. Yeah. Uh, I find it's always like. A crap shoot to try and figure out where subtitles are in the menu. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem like it's here. There you go. Art, art? subtitles. Oh, that must be when art's talking to us, right? Isn't that that guy's name? No, oh, that's uh, Atlas. Oh, I don't know, man. I mean. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> He's good. These freaking security things, man. The children must remain functional to be effective producers of Adam. I had hoped we placed them in the vegetative state so they would be more pliable. I find being around them very uncomfortable. Mm, me too. Even with those things implanted in their bellies, they are still children. They play and sing. Sometimes they look at me, and they don't stop. Sometimes they smile. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, I want some pizza. I saw that dude. That worked earlier. I guess it didn't. Alcohol. First aid. I hear spooky music. Let's go down here. Oh, I don't really like going down one-way passages. Whatever. Here's a cool power. Photographer's eye. Um... I don't okay. really care about that. Nope. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, buddy. Secret. You picked uh, up a wrench. Punch. Yes, I did. Why? I don't know. For your wrench ammo. Gosh, they're so tough. Start using those anti personal rounds. I got the security, I thought I was hidden. Hmm. 
be a friend? How's it going? Would you like to say hello oh. to my wrench? You just flip up the river into goo. Hey! Oh, he's a magician. You tricked us! Good trick. Okay. Alright, well, the stealth one seems useless. Oh, 